But we're here at, at uh, Cyrano's Off Center Playhouse talking to uh, uh, Elizabeth Ware and David Edgecombe about the two plays that they're putting on here. Mike, okay, so the, the question I'm sure everyone has asked you so far, why are you doing these shows in rap? Uh, I, I actually, I, I, I think I should answer that, as she says, stammering <laughs> into obscurity. Um, I wanted the challenge. One I've seen, the uh, um, Red Hot Patriot, uh, Molly Ivan's uh, one, man, one Woman Show, and it's, uh, it's a hoot. And I wanted to get back to Red Hot Patriot. We only ran it for two weeks. Sandy, you know, Sandy's great about if you've got an idea, and uh, she'll say, well, we'll figure out how to make it happen. And she, she's fabulous about that. So we, we brought it in. It was selling out. It, it was really popular. And I, it, I, I've told people it's the most fun I've ever had on stage. The things she says, you know, some of them are so outrageous, but they are so dead on. And uh, it's, it's the kind of thing where if people agree with you, they stomp their feet, you know, and raise their fists in the air and stuff. It's really cool. And she, she was also, she was an equal opportunity Basher, Asher, yes. <laughs> she she didn't care what your affiliations were. She could not stand stupidity, and uh, <laughs> on, on either side of the aisle, it's a lot of laughs. I don't care if you're a Democrat, a Republican, a liberal, or a conservative, or a communist or a Nazi. You'll laugh at this play. It's 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 great fun, and it's coupled with another one about this famous woman architect. Uh, she worked for the Fred Harvey Corporation, which uh, they were responsible for making train travel comfortable at the turn of the 20th century. And then they, they won the concession for the Grand Canyon, so uh, which was right off the Santa Fe Trail line. It was, they had this deal where you get off the train and drive in these fancy cars. This was the 1915. And so the Harvey Company, uh, they, they owned all the concessions. And uh, from about 1907 on, she was hired as their principal architect and decor decorator. And she divided her time between doing the, the canyon and doing um, working for the corporation everywhere from Chicago to Los Angeles. So she was, she was one busy woman. Have you and been to the canyon? Yeah. Okay, then you've seen her buildings because almost every building designed on the south rim is, was designed by her. If there's stone. Yeah. That's kind mm -hmm. of the rule. Uh, if it's a log building, she didn't design it. If it's a stone building, it was hers. Mm -hmm. So she designed, there's one that is right on the rim of the canyon. It looks like it's part of the canyon. Mm -hmm. It's called Lookout Studio. It's right by the Bright Angel Trailhead. Mm -hmm. And that was one of her designs. Um, Hopi House, which is a retail shop outside of El Tavar is hers. El the tower, Tavar isn't the watchtower at, at Desert View. I remember clearly the first time I saw the canyon. As I parted the branches of a juniper, the majesty of absence swelled before me. I was not prepared for the sight. My eyes focused and refocused, trying to fix on the contours of ancient rock, russets and golds, maroon unto ruby blues, transforming almost to teal right before my eyes. We picked up a book at the Grand Canyon, and it uh, was all about her life and times, and I turned to Liz and said, do you know anything about her? And we leafed through it, and we said, boy, that sounds exciting. And we put it kind of in the back of our memory. This was about 10 years ago, probably. At least, yeah. And uh, then we were looking for projects for one-woman shows. And when we wanted to take one more sabbatical, because we're retiring this year, so we, we started talking about Mary Coulter, and the uh, rest is history. And plus, we have a house down there, and it was like, you know, yeah, we, live we wouldn't have to pay rent. Yeah. We, we got a place to live. <laughs> yeah. And we get to see so all the all great kind of, sights of the Grand Canyon. Kind of fell in place. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been great. It's been great to spend some, uh, some time here with uh, my friends uh, Dave and Liz, and uh, it's going to be a hoot to come back and see the show here this weekend. Um, just keep, uh, keep watching this, uh, this website. Tell us about your shows. Put your stuff on the calendar. You know, uh, um, talk about stuff. You know, just uh, just keep visiting the website and let's uh, let's make it grow and let's all grow with it together and uh, keep uh, supporting these lively arts in Alaska. And I think there we are. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Say good night, Ron. Good night, Ron. <laughs>